seems like Daily Mail have honestly taken like a bit of a turn. Oh, oh really? Oh, do you think I think that the animals at SeaWorld are being eaten? Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So it just so happens that old mates at the Daily Mail have made another article about the sea animal tour and specifically the event at SeaWorld where we took a little stand, some vegan tuna disguised with labels as dolphin meat. So the idea was speciesism and you know bluefin tuna are endangered and you know you get these big trawling nets that kill dolphins and porpoises and whales and the idea was like well if you're happy to support this fishing industry you're supporting the killing of dolphins anyway why wouldn't you just eat them and uh you eat sea animals marine animals who are sentient and conscious just like dolphins anyway <laughs> so that was the idea um you know we've got a bunch more content to do with that specific topic coming up but i just thought i'd read out this article here because it seems like this is by oliver day for the daily mail it seems like daily mail have honestly taken like a bit of a turn or maybe they just have objective journalists here because we're going to read through and see like whether they you know the daily mail and me like look google joey carbstrong daily mail they've made a lot of articles about me a lot of them i felt like were unfair <laughs> and just a bit of tab a bit tabloidish but this one seems good it says a controversial vegan activist has been kicked out of SeaWorld after handing out samples of sustainable dog meat to customers in a car park Joey Carbstrong 34 set up a stall outside the Gold Coast SeaWorld in a bid to tempt patrons with cans of his sustainable dolphin meat. That's right. Very objective. Good. I'm liking it so far. It says the self-proclaimed animal defender, in inverted commas, is well known for his animal rights stunts, but was interrupted when security asked him to move on. And, uh, and, then, I, and then they quote me. So this is good. When, when the newspaper quotes you, they're, they're putting your message out there for you, aren't they? They're, they're literally doing your advocacy on their platform for you. So seeing as the public don't mind paying for animals to be exploited in this entertainment facility, exactly, because SeaWorld is like a prison where they have slaves who do tricks for the people and horrible things go on in these prisons, you know. They're basically breaking these animals and getting them to perform tricks and they're away from their natural environment. It could, it's just, it just must be terrible for those animals in SeaWorld specifically. But for me, the one to three trillion marine animals that are being tortured and murdered Seems like a much bigger issue, but this is still a horrible issue. What goes on in places like SeaWorld and zoos and things like that. So yeah, seeing as the public don't mind for paying for animals to be exploited in this entertainment facility, they won't mind the dolphins that don't perform anymore getting canned up and sold to them, the activist says. Well, if you're looking at these animals as just objects who perform and things like that, well, why not? Like, they're being killed as biokill anyway, like in the fishing industry worldwide, so might as well can them up and eat them, eh? Not much difference there. Exposing the speciesism and hypocrisy. As two security guards approach the stall, Mr. Carbstrong asks if they would like to try his sustainable dolphin meat, but is swiftly told to move on from the property. I kind of knew that was going to happen anyway. <laughs> I can't give samples of dolphin meat. I'm trying to promote the dolphin industry, Mr. Carbstrong explains. I thought this would support SeaWorld because these are all the ex-training dolphins, he adds while holding up the cans. Anyway, this is the label that was on the cans, uh, so thanks to Taz for putting that label together. It looks really, really special, and uh, we didn't get a close-up of the cans, even though we spent a long time preparing the cans, finding the cans, putting vegan tuna in the cans, putting vegan mayo with the vegan tuna to make it taste good. As he packs his equipment into the van, the activist catches the attention of more pedestrians and asks if they want a free dolphin meat sample. <laughs> They've got photos and stuff from the, from the video. They were performing in there, but now we're going to eat them, he says. Mr. Carbstrong then moves his bizarre one-man protest to a promenade in Surface Paradise where a handful of curious shoppers approach the stool. And it says, during a pause in foot traffic, the activist explained the purpose of the public stunt to his 132,000 subscribers on YouTube. People will happily eat larger fish like tuna or snapper, and they are brutally killed on decks of boats, he explains. We are going to test to see why people won't eat a dolphin but will happily eat a tuna. Is there a moral difference between the two? Olivia Day, you are just great, Olivia. You're my favourite Daily Mail reporter. You're very objective. You must be a good one of the good journalists. You're just basically, put, you know, you're not adding anything additional on. You're just basically objectively reporting the message of what I did. 
So as Mr. Carbstrong says that both species are sentient, self-aware, and able to feel pain and suffering. Thank you, Olivia. Very good. That is, that is what I'm saying. Uh, one passerby stops to inform the activist that dolphin meat is illegal. <laughs> well, <laughs> legality doesn't equal morality. Look to history to see the things that have been legal but haven't been moral. In fact, they've been morally reprehensible, like the Holocaust in Germany was legal. The transatlantic slave trade in America was legal. <laughs> There's many things that are legal that are just completely sadistic and cruel, like the animal holocaust. About 300,000 dolphins, whales, and porpoises are killed as by kill in the fishing industry anyway, so we're just tending him, Mr. Carbstrong responds. So basically, if you've seen Seaspiracy, and the idea of this campaign was to promote Seaspiracy, I wish I'd said something about Seaspiracy so it was in this article, but you watch Seaspiracy, there's some really good facts in there, and we'll leave a link to Seaspiracy down below, and we are promoting Seaspiracy through this campaign across social media. So yeah, this is an interesting fact that people, they almost adore dolphins, whales, porpoises, but then they'll go and sit down to a seafood platter which is supporting industries which murder them en masse. The vegan activists claim that between one and three trillion sea animals are murdered each year in the industry. That's an astounding number. Yeah, that is an astounding number. It's a huge number. It's like beyond human conception, that number. Like it's crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of suffering happening in the oceans. These floating slaughterhouses on boats just indiscriminately catching like millions of sea animals, no matter the species. Like what matters is that they are conscious beings who suffer to death. So you can eat their body for a 10 minute meal, which is just the absolute height of injustice, absolute height of human greed and selfishness to cause that amount of suffering and destruction. So you can have a bit of palate pleasure how sick. And basically, yeah, like dolphins, whales, and porpoises are killed as by kill, but 300,000 of them. And we're talking one to three trillion marine animals. And you know, 50% of the, the fish people eat come out of disgusting factory, like fish farms, disgusting salmon farms. There are horrible places where the animals, they're in close quarters, feces leaking out into the oceans from all these, you know, they're dumping food in there. They're leaving all the food at the bottom of the ocean. They're, they're crapping you know how much, you know, feces is coming out of these places. They're like cesspools and they're getting diseases and these poor fish are suffering. And then, you know, they put a bit of pink dye in the salmon to make the salmon not gray, you know, and then people come along and they eat the salmon and go, oh, wow, it was caught by a nice fisherman on, on the side of a jetty and just pulled in like that. Absolute nonsense. This is a disgusting holocaust of fish. It's so much suffering. It defies imagination how much suffering we are causing just for seafood, it's sick. It's not seafood, they are sea animals who wanted to live. And the Daily Mail has reported pretty objectively here, thank you Daily Mail, thank you. I'll even leave the link to the article down below so you guys can leave comments because there's a few comments down here. Uh, it does say that the Daily Mail reached out to SeaWorld for comment. Good luck getting a comment out of SeaWorld. They're already under enough scrutiny for exploiting animals in their facility for entertainment. So insert expletive here to SeaWorld. Share or comment on this article, vegan activist gets kicked out of dolphin meat. 43 comments. Oh, this is going to be fun. Feed him to the sharks. Well, that's an appeal to nature, hey? Like, oh, sharks eat meat. Feed me to the sharks. You're even fine to see me suffer in the oceans and get murdered by sharks. That's great. Interesting. DM, please stop pandering to these idiots. Mercury, have an avocado or banana, you banana brain. How does it taste? Like chicken? Someone says inappropriate. Well, like, yeah, I mean, hope this is a vegan calling him out because if he's not there... A hypocrite. I think the fishing industry is destructive and stopped eating seafood as my own private protest, but I don't widely advertise it. In fact, this is the first time I've said it online. I agree with the film Seaspiracy though, and I knew a lot of it before seeing it. If you don't like it, protest like I do, but please don't bang on about it. Do it and shut up. How are you supposed to create social change if you don't bang on about it? I'm sure the sea animals would like us to bang on about it a bit more because they're suffocating on the deck of a boat right now to death. It's, uh, I'm sure they want us to bang on about it. All creatures will soon be on the menu for the multicultural carnivore. Uh, Michael Gov's bill to ban eating dogs was rejected last year by the Ministry of Just Justice, denouncing it as cultural insensitivity. If you wouldn't eat a dog, why would you eat a pig or a chicken or a cow? I love dolphins, but I couldn't eat a whole one. There's a few immature people on here. He got exactly what he wanted. Attention, no one still really cares for his hopeless cause though. Amusing stunt though. Uh, yeah, well yeah, of course I want attention. I'm 
out there advocating against sea animal abuse. Yes, that's exactly why I did this for attention. So the message gets attention, not necessarily me, because this article has quoted my message for me. You're an absolute twit. Having worked at SeaWorld for many years, I can safely say that no animal, not, no matter how old or even non-performing, are not eaten. Oh, oh really? Oh, do you think I think that the animals at SeaWorld are being eaten? It was a stunt to get people to think about the speciesism inherent in society. You know, it's just uh, ridiculous that people think that I think that the animals in SeaWorld are getting eaten. I was trying to aggravate some emotion out of people so that they think about the hypocrisy in their lifestyles and, so, and to raise awareness for sea animals. This is what I was doing. People already love dolphins and whales. I know that, I know that. Most people don't wanna see something bad happen to a dolphin even though they pay to see them perform and can't see that that's cruel. But you know, a dolphin getting stabbed in the head with a big spike like they do with the tuna, I'm sure people, there would be public outrage, but you know, they're happy to do it to the tuna and have a tuna sandwich and go to Subway, have a tuna um, Subway and things like this. So I'm just exposing that hypocrisy, but yeah, thanks a lot, mate. Like, obviously I don't think that performing dolphins are eaten. I know dolphins are generally not eaten across the world. There are places in um, Asia that probably eat small whales. And I think there's probably some dolphin eating going on in Japan that people aren't, you know, dolphin sushimi going on in Japan. That, um, but like, again, there's no moral difference between eating a dolphin and a tuna. I just don't see the morally re relevant difference. Dolphins eat fish, shark eat other fish, and humans, why can't we eat fish? Oh wow, well, so why can't we eat each other? If the fish eat each other, why can't we eat each other? It's called uh, morals and ethics. We don't need to eat fish, we don't need to cause them suffering and pain, so why would we? Why would we navigate our morality by the actions of sharks and dolphins and fish in a survival situation in nature? You're a human being, you don't have to stab a fish in the throat to eat we don't have to kill each other um, to eat. But uh, I'm sure sharks attack each other and other fish eat each other, but we shouldn't eat each other because fish eat each other, should we? So there we go, there's a little quick little ethics lesson for the person at the bottom. I highly invite uh, people who are watching this video to go and comment on the Daily Mail. Go on, go down there, leave us some vegan comments, share it, get the vegans commenting on it so that it gets some good engagement because it was a good article. Like, I'm actually, you know, quite pleased with it. Thanks to my new favorite journalist, Olivia Day. Fantastic. Get in there, comment. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for supporting the Sea Animal campaign so far. We've got a lot more to come, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Not I'm trying to here. promote the dolphin industry. Not in here, mate. Pack it up, time to go. Uh, I thought this would support SeaWorld because uh, these are all the ex-training dolphins, so.